Hey everybody! I got um, my first part of my HSN order from Craft Day Inn the other day. So I wanted to share with you what I got. Um, I've been busy reorganizing the closet in my craft room. So I got these Saturday. Uh, so three, day, three or four days ago. Um, and the other part of my order, I think, should be here today or tomorrow. So, um, first thing I got was uh, Sarah and Crafter's Companion came out with a, a new collection, which was a butterfly. I bought the last butterfly, the entire collection, so I really didn't need... Um, this collection. Um, so I just bought the paper uh, combo. And then there was an individual, uh, a butterfly, a swarm like of butterflies, but that's on extended delivery. So, um, so sorry for the noise. Let me get rid of the box. This is the paper. because I need more paper. Let me get rid of this. All right, so the paper pack came with the eight by eight vellum sheets and then the 12 by 12, um, let's see if we can put some light on. Oh, that's better. The 12 by 12 uh, regular paper pack. And so, um, let's take a look there. I think they're going to be similar. Doesn't show on the back of here, but so it's 36 sheets. Doesn't say, oh, it says it's double-sided. So let's take a look. All right. Can you see the majority of it? All right. Let's see. I think you can see enough. All right, so this is the back side and it's a fairly neutral pattern. Looks like there's three of each. So that means there's only 12. This is really pretty with the turquoise butterflies. Then this is turquoise and the brown. I do like the turquoise and the tannish brown together. And that's the front of that one. This one's in the pinks and kind of a rose. That's pretty. This one's just kind of a muted, it's got writing on the back, or the background. Bear with me, there we go. And that's got the kind of white and tan butterflies. This one's got writing and music notes on the back with the butterflies. Oh, that's got a combination of butterflies. That's real pretty. I like that butterfly. Um, this one also has writing. It's like an old postcard postage stamps. And that's the front. And then this is kind of a dusty rose maybe kind of color with the little butterflies in the background and that's the front of that one that's not my favorite but um this is 
got lavenderish roses and kind of with them plain background. Pretty postage stamps again with a muted background with uh, postmarks and butterflies. Mm, that's pretty. And this is pink. That's very pretty. And this is kind of the beiges and tans with a little hint of yellow, soft yellowish gold. And that's got the bluish lavender. Butterflies, and then this is another kind of just a neutral. And then these are the butterflies in the front. So those are real pretty. And it's totally different than the other butterfly paper that I have, so that's a good thing. And then the 8x8 vellum, there's six designs. Um, four of each. So, all right. So that was the butterfly paper. And then, um, Kingston, Beth Kingston, um, has her own line of products now. And she had, um, several items, um, and I'm not sure what possessed me, but I bought the uh, numbers in the alphabets because uh, it's uh, old school. Um, but it was a cute idea to be able to make your own little, you know, whimsical kind of sayings on your cards. Um, so there's two sheets of each color. So there's a gray, silver, gold, purple. And I don't know if you could tell, but um, they're actually very thin. There's just, um, you know, where the ink runs off. Um, I can't remember what they call that. Bleed, I believe, because it's, they're, they're like half this size. And then lavender, kind of a teal blue. Um, light teal, white. Well, here, now you can see how tiny they are. They're very, very thin. So they'll be good for the front of cards. White. Green. Kind of an army green. Uh, lighter green. Yellow, orange, peach, peachy pink, red, um, dark pink. I guess that's supposed to be red. And then there's numbers that match. I don't know what I'll do with the numbers, but there was a lot of... Um, there was one that had no numbers, but it didn't have as many vowels and stuff. So I thought this one would give me more options. So, and it comes in a cute little, uh, you can, uh, like a photo album that you can uh, put other things in when you're done. Though I don't know that I'll ever be done with all of those. Cause there's so many. And then, this is a floral embellishment kit from a Little Darlings, which is now LDRS. And um, I didn't buy it in the beginning. And then I thought there was a lot of things I could do with it. And then it was like $24.95, but then they dropped the price. To, was it $18.95? And I thought, well, sold. Sold at $18.95. So 
they had two sets and I ended up buying the this one. Um the pastel, more pastel one. Um and then um then I ended up getting the uh darker one too that's in the second batch of orders that's coming. So these are chipboard. I've never it's been years since I've used chipboard. But it's called the Sweet Daisy Floral and Embelly Mega Pack. And it's in this nice little closeable case. And it's got the flowers. Whoops. It's got ribbon to match. And then these very, very flat uh, piece of little dots that match perfectly. And I like the fact that they're more on the flat side um, because there's enough. Um, these are going to be thick. So when you add this, like on the top for the top of the flower, if you wanted to use them, it's not going to add a whole lot more thickness. So each of these, I can't remember how many. these all right so these are all the same so you get see one two three four five six seven eight nine four five ten Ten of each of these, and they're they're self adhesive, which is nice. Um, so you can layer on top of each other. You can just make a little bouquet. Um, I like this kind of cute. little spray that they did here with a edging uh, edging uh, edgeable uh, die cut um, so something different and they're very springy so and hopefully spring is right around the corner because I'm pretty I'm pretty tired of the cold and it's nothing here in California compared to every other place, but we're not used of it being as cold for as long as it has been. But like I said, nothing compared to some states, especially in the East. So that was LDRS, little mega pack. Can't wait to use those, give those a try. And then I got Crafter's Companion pad. Um, look at how cute this little camper is look at how cute and I don't know if it was last year or the year before they had the mixer they had the birdhouse um, the flower pot and I had those and I love those especially the mixer and I could not resist this little camper it is just so cute so uh, it makes a, a folding card uh, it'll be the shape 
of the camper. And then it came with um, the stamp set that says Adventure Awaits. Um, Life Needs More Starry Nights and Crackling Fires. I Love Adventure. Home is where you park it. Life rocks when your living room rolls. <laughs> That's cute. Um, a crowded camper is better than an empty castle. Busy camping. You don't have to be crazy to camp with us. We can train you. That's precious. I like that. So that was not part of a collection. But they had the auto ship. And one of the auto ships is a camera. A shape, you know, a shape card in in a camera and I really 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 wanted the camera but you can't get the camera unless you bought the the first and signed up for auto ship so uh, to get the camera I had to get the set so this is um, this was the first one and it's classy and fabulous and it's a it's a purse and it's cute and I'll use it um, have a gorgeous day. A girl can never have too many handbags. I don't want flowers. I want a handbag. Life is short. Buy the bag. What a girl wants. It's all about the bag. And then classy and fabulous. So I got this. I don't know that I'll be. I think there was there's a bear's face. I can't remember what else there was. Um, but I think like the third or fourth one is the camera. And then after the camera is this three-tiered or two-tiered birthday cake, which I want. So I think I'll skip the next one or two and until we get to the camera. We get the camera. Um, but um, yeah, because I, I just I had to have the camera. I don't care what. <laughs> so... So the last thing I got, it feels very retro um, for this time, was I, I ordered a Project Life kit. And I've got Project Life cards, but I, it was on clearance and uh, it was cheap. And I've been looking for a six by eight binder um, that's relatively inexpensive because I started scrapbooking um, and I've scrapbooked for years but after now that I make so many cards sometimes when I think about doing a two-page 12 by 12 layout um, it just seems daunting to me and so I've seen quite a few um, six by eight layouts and I thought that's a nice size it's a cute size they have six by eight you know full sheets and then they also have um, the photo you know the the pocket pages um, so I thought well that might work so I didn't want to invest a lot of money to see if I even like the idea of a six by eight so that's why I got this one. Um, and I think, let's see if I can open this. I think I'm going to use it for the mini cruise that I took in November. It might be just the right size. Not a whole lot of pictures. Um, so we'll see. But I thought I didn't spend a lot of money. I don't, gosh. It wasn't, it wasn't very much at all, actually. Um, let's see where I can get this to open up at. Let me get some scissors. Maybe. So... My question is, do you scrapbook? And if you do, do you scrapbook the traditional um, 12 by 12? 
which like I said, I've always done, or do you do six by eight or eight by eight? Um, I went to Michael's and they had no, nothing in the six by eight size. They had the eight by eight, but I don't know. I, 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 I wasn't, I just didn't feel the eight by eight. It just, I don't know. I don't know. Um, so look, it's got the cards. It's got pocket pages. It's got cardboard. Uh, this just seemed like a nice size, and I just seem to I like the size. So we'll see. We will see. Um, let me see if I can. I think they're still on clearance. Just trying to see if I could find the. How much it was. It was, it wasn't much. No, I can't find it. Nope. I don't remember, but I know it wasn't much, so let me see. Oh, here we go, Project Life. It was $10.42 um, when I got it, so, I mean, that's nothing. Um, I thought it was well worth it, and the album's cute. And it's, um, you know, got the corners so it doesn't get all messed up. Um, so I'm, um, I'm anxious to give it a try. So, oh. Anyway, but let me know. Do you scrapbook also? Um, do you scrapbook? What size do you scrapbook? Um, what's your favorite? What's your go-to? Um, do you scrapbook and card? Um let me know in the comments. I'd be interested to find out what everybody does. So, all right. So that's it for this haul. Um, it was funny that half of it, uh, they, they split my order in kind of like half. So, um, anyway, um, so thanks for watching. I appreciate it. If you're a subscriber, I appreciate you subscribing. Um, I hope you stay safe and well, um, until the next time we meet, um, happy crafting. Thanks for watching. Bye.